I'm Jalen Banks here at the Dane County Regional Airport tracking how they're dealing with travel conditions. I'm Maddie Himes here in Beloit monitoring the snowfall in Rock County. I'm Armand Rahman on the west side of Madison as the snow keeps falling how you can stay safe when you're shoveling it all up. The first run weather team is tracking the end of this impactful weather event. Now we have another impactful weather event to talk about. Details coming up. Look at that old iced over <laughs> Channel 3 logo on the side of the building. Of course, it's been a mild winter so far, but today a much different picture across southern Wisconsin. The snow really started falling shortly before midnight last night. It's just now finally starting to let up. So that's nearly 24 hours of straight snow, and that accumulation is certainly adding up. News 3 now has kept you informed all day with the latest conditions, and our team coverage continues this evening. But first, meteorologist Alex Harrington is on the weather patio tracking today's snow totals. Alex. Yeah, Charlotte, tracking today's snow totals with a, a weatherman's dancing stick, which is a yardstick, I guess. We've had exactly... This is just one spot. I've done this a couple times. We've had just about nine inches of snow here at the studio. So that verified, folks, we were first to let you know about this impactful weather event that was going to be moving towards southern Wisconsin. And we're first to debut some pretty fancy graphics here. This is our monitor that uh, is max reality. It's augmented reality. It allows me to be able to be out in the elements and actually do all of my weather right out here in the elements as we continue to track our alert day. This is for all of southern Wisconsin still. About another inch of snow, at least through the overnight. We still have the gusty winds out there to contend with that will do some of that blowing and some of that drifting. That's why we will still have bad driving conditions at least through the Wednesday morning commute and then conditions should improve just a little bit. But then first to warn you here, we're eyeing up perhaps maybe an inch or two of snow going on into your Wednesday night and then into your Thursday here. Let's track the snow here, the last of those bands here, moving really more towards the south and towards the east. We did a Facebook Live event and our friends down in Janesville, I said, well, that snow is gonna be on its way from Madison where things are lighting up. And then here in Janesville, you see pretty decent clip going on with that, uh, with that snow right now. Another additional inch here crossed all of southern Wisconsin expected. But this is alert day number one here, folks. Alert day number two is just moments away. And then we got alert day number three. So visibility is, should improve here tonight, but we'll be tracking the next winter storm. And then we're gonna be tracking the bitter cold. I think we got Jacob. Jacob, how are things going in your neck of the woods? Well, snow has kind of picked up just a little bit over the last like minute or so. Now, when I first came out here, it was definitely the lightest it's been in a while, but I want to talk about uh, the parking lot right now. So this this parking lot hasn't been plowed for a while now, and there may be a few side streets that are like this. So let me show you how much standing snow is on this right now. So we got about two, maybe two and a half inches of snow on the parking lot. And again, that might be on some of the side streets, but I also want to focus your attention over here. So first off, check out this car. This car is not been touched for several hours and this may indeed be your car if you haven't touched it and it's been outside this long but i also want you to pay attention to just in front of the car so earlier when the snow plows came in they obviously pushed the snow uh kind of in this direction and we're looking at about six to seven inches of snow in front of the car now if you're parked in your driveway or something that's likely going to be in the case towards the end of the driveway near the street and your car probably looks like this so if you have anywhere to go wednesday morning definitely take extra time uh to get ready because it will take a while to not just clear the car but also clear the path to get you out of the driveway back to you guys in the studio Jacob, thank you. Well, the city of Madison needs your cooperation and help so it can efficiently plow all the roads. It declared a snow emergency this afternoon, meaning alternate side parking rules are in effect tonight and tomorrow. So here's what that means. Tonight, make sure your car is parked on an even numbered side of the road. For tomorrow night into Thursday morning, park it on the odd numbered side of the road. Violators prevent plows from getting through and could be towed or even ticketed. A snow emergency is declared when there are three or more inches of snow on the roads. Today's snow wasn't the first of the season, but it has been the most impactful, especially if you had somewhere to be today. Now, the key to driving weather like this, taking it slow and steady, of course. We've been able to share updates from the road all day long. Catherine Merck joins us live for the comforts of a warm car to share what she's seeing at this hour. Catherine. Eric and Charlotte, comfort of a warm car, but definitely the roads are going to be tough for some people to make their way through with some of these conditions. I want you to see one of these side streets on Madison's southwest side. 
that we're at right now. As you can see, it hasn't been plowed for a while now, and that thick, wet snow makes it difficult for our car to make its way through. So this might be a site that many people waking up tomorrow might have to see as they make their way to their morning commute, or if you're driving around tonight, you might see some roads like this as well. So if you are going to be out there in these conditions, make sure to take it slow as we're doing right now with your headlights on and looking out for other vehicles that could be out there traveling as well. Right now, the snow has died down a little bit. Uh, it's been going for a while now, uh, but make sure to watch out for that the rest of this evening as well as visibility becomes lower with the light differences from earlier today. We're going to keep you updated on the road conditions throughout the rest of the evening and in the early morning hours on News 3 this morning. Make sure to stick with us on there the latest updates and we're going to have one more update from the road conditions later in the newscast. Reporting live on Madison Southwest Side, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. Catherine, thank you. Authorities say today's weather was a factor in a deadly semi-crash just outside Cambridge before 6 a.m. Jefferson County authorities say an SUV crashed head-on into a semi on Highway 18 just east of Cambridge. It happened near the highway's intersection with Hope Lake Road. The driver of the SUV was killed. The semi driver was not hurt. Traffic reopened at 1115 this morning, more than five hours after the crash was first reported. Power was restored early this morning for some Fitchburg residents after a semi slid off the road, striking a power pole. This happened around 115 AM on South Seminole Highway. That's south of Lacey Road. MG and E crews had power restored for those affected by 8 AM. Well, another issue involving a semi this time this one, which jackknifed on Highway 33 in Friesland in Columbia County. As you can see in this photo shared by the Columbia County Sheriff's Office, is what, it was a Walmart truck blocking the road. Authorities were able to reopen the highway to traffic two hours later. Well, it's been a relatively smooth travel season for flyers in and out of Madison, but today that changed. Well, news three now is Jalen Banks joins us live now from Dane County Regional Airport after speaking with airport staff as well as travelers about what they encountered today. Jalen? Well, guys, if you can, you know, look behind me and see, there's nobody here. That's because eight of the nine arrivals that are still scheduled for this evening have been delayed, some up to even three hours. But speaking to different travelers that were in the airport earlier, to, earlier today, a lot of them were even headed outside of the country, and that has delayed some of their travel plans, and hopefully, and they were hoping to get things back on track. Um, ultimately, we're headed to Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic, and so we are flying from here to O'Hare, and our flight to O'Hare is delayed about an hour. Luckily, when we get to O'Hare, that flight is also delayed about an hour, so we still have enough time to make our connection. And then from there, we go to Newark, okay. and then from there to Santo Domingo. Dane County Regional Airport, they have plans to keep plowing and trucking going on to clear snow on the tarmacs and in cab lanes to ensure that the roads and stuff will be clear for safe travel for 24 hours at a time. Reporting in Madison at the Dane County Regional Airport, Jalen Banks, News 3 Now. All right, Jalen, thank you. Madison schools will be open tomorrow, but a few school districts in rural areas have already been canceled for tomorrow. Others have announced late starts. Here's a look at the current list of delays and closures, and we'll continue to add those to the list overnight. Okay, we don't have those just yet, but we are going to continue to roll them at the bottom of your screen. We'll add them throughout the evening hours as well, overnight hours. There's a look at what the website looks like, and you can see it more in detail at Channel 3000. Com. Well, you've been really lucky so far this season. We've avoided a lot of <laughs> snow shoveling, but we know today the snow gave many of us a good workout. Oh, well, so we sent Arman Rahman, lucky guy, out into some local neighborhoods this afternoon to find the shovelers, and he joins us now with what he learned. Arman. Yeah, lucky is one way to describe it. Eric, you know what I'm talking about. There were a lot of people out there shoveling today, and I know you may want to quickly clear off, shovel off that driveway or sidewalk, but doctors say if you do it improperly, it could actually kind of hurt you. Now, I might, now I caught up with a man and woman today who actually found the shoveling exciting because it was her first real winter ever after moving here from Vietnam. But you shouldn't get too excited. Dr. Jeff Potoff says do some stretches before and shortness of breath could be the first of many signs of a heart attack. It just fills in wherever you've removed it, but better in waves than all at once. It gets really heavy. Yeah, we don't want that become icing. It's dangerous. You scoop shorter scoops, you throw it a little bit less far and 
Take your time. Typically, a lot of people will sense uh, this kind of deep pain uh, in the center of their chest. Uh, sometimes that pain can radiate to the jaw, to the arm. Uh, but you know, some uh, individuals, especially women, they don't always get those classic chest pain signs. They might just feel a little bit nauseous. Doctors say that happens because the cold air can cause your blood vessels to constrict and decrease oxygen to your heart while you are exerting yourself. So here is the healthiest way to shovel, according to doctors. First off, you want to push rather than lift. That's easier on your back. And then you also don't want to twist so much when you have that heavy load because that can also throw your back out. But Eric and Charlotte, I know you guys got kids. You probably uh, make them get out there and shovel anyways. <laughs> one helped. The other one was in South Carolina, so no snow for him. But yeah. there's some great advice in there, and I loved how she mm -hmm. was excited. You could see the excitement. Yes, in her absolutely. First, her first effort at snow removal. That was a great story. All right, Madison Police in other news have arrested a second person in connection with a deadly crash that happened on the city's north side back in November. They say in their investigation they learned two vehicles were racing moments before this crash. 77-year-old Roderick Anderson was killed after being T-boned while in the area of Packers Avenue and Manley Street. The driver of the car that hit him was arrested and faces charges of homicide by negligent operation of a motor vehicle. Yesterday, police arrested a 22-year-old man who they say was racing the driver. He faces a felony charge of second-degree recklessly endangering safety. Also new, a $50,000 cash bond has been set for a man accused of shooting another man outside of a Fitchburg bar last month. 35-year-old Dedonta Davis appeared in court today after his arrest last Friday. Police say Davis shot a man in the parking lot of Monkey Shines Bar and Grill along McKee Road two days before Christmas. That man survived the shooting but was injured. Davis has been charged with first degree recklessly endangering safety and possessing a firearm as a convicted felon. More local stories are straight ahead at 10. The roads may be quiet right now, but they won't won't be in the morning. So to come another check in on what the roads are looking like ahead of your Wednesday morning commute. Stay with us. Don't want your New Year's resolutions to fade fast? Keep your resolutions longer with Willie Street Co-op. Reduce your carbon footprint. Expand your culinary horizons. Improve your skills with new kitchen tools and cooking classes. Nourish your body with clean, fresh foods. Explore products from an array of BIPOC and LGBTQ plus vendors. Willie Street Co-op. Everyone is welcome. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you equipped with quality tools and project supplies because we get you. Whether you're a hardworking pro or an ambitious DIYer, we get you what you need to get the job done. Right now, save on these four packs of DeWalt batteries, $179. $10 off these 250-foot rolls of indoor wire. Plus, trade in any used power or hand tool for exclusive trade-in savings on select DeWalt tools and accessories. We get you what you need because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. If you have Medicare and Medicaid, you may be eligible to get extra benefits with iCare's dual eligible special needs plans. Our members get $1,800 per year with a card that's loaded monthly to pay for items such as eligible groceries, over-the-counter items, rent, and utilities. Whatever you don't spend carries over each month. Call us today and a licensed sales agent will help you find out if you're eligible. Rest easy. iCare is looking out for you and your health. On the Jennifer Hudson Show, strap in. Come on, you gotta fly. Okay. An 84-year-old skydiver inspires us all. Plus, this is jujitsu, everybody. Jerry O'Connell does his best. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. 
Welcome back. It wasn't just Dane County that saw a large amount of snow today. Many cities and towns in Rock County declared a winter emergency because of the weather. And our Maddie Heimsch is in Beloit tonight with a look at how the city officials there prepared and got into action for today's snowfall. The snow here in Beloit is still coming down like it's been all afternoon and evening. The wind is, of course, picking up as well. It's certainly that wet, heavy snow building up that accumulation on the ground, making the roads pretty slushy. But the first snowflake today was certainly not the beginning for officials I talked to today who said they'd been preparing for this event for days and even weeks. I spoke with Beloit's Deputy Public Works Director, who told me he's been monitoring the storm for more than a week. He said planning for an event like this one requires coordination city and countywide. You know, we sat down with our supervisors and went over what we thought was the best approach to this. You know, every storm is different. Uh, it's difficult to predict the future with a storm. And, uh, you know, we just used the best tools that we have to approach the storm the best way we can. Peterson and emergency management coordinator Patty Miller told me several factors go into declaring a winter weather emergency, including accumulation, iciness, air temperature, road temperature, and duration. When a storm like today's checks all the boxes, Miller said she's confident the team in Beloit is ready to handle the weather. They prepare like this for every single storm. We have an awesome team put together. Our employees are top notch and they're just really wanting to do a good job and make sure that they get out there ahead of this so that nobody does get hurt. It's more of a safety issue for our residents to make sure everybody gets home safely. Here in Beloit, as the snow does turn to slush, officials are warning everyone to stay off the roads if possible. In Rock County, I'm Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now. And the snow will stop overnight. The temperatures will remain below freezing. And that could mean another slippery commute in the morning. Catherine Merck continues to check out what the roads look like at this hour around the Madison area. Catherine. Eric and Charlotte, we're on Madison's west side. I'm going to flip my camera around so you can see some of the conditions looking at right now on these more main roads this we're on Raymond Road right now these are a little bit more plowed than some of the side streets so if you're waking up tomorrow morning be aware that some roads might have been cleared out more than others uh, also right now as you can see the snow has kind of stopped compared to uh, how heavy it was coming down earlier uh, as Alex was saying in our forecast it's been coming in and out uh, throughout the afternoon so uh, tomorrow that's something you'll want to look out for as well the visibility could change, uh, especially if you're out and about like some of these folks tonight. Make sure you have your uh, windshield wipers on, uh, your headlights, all things that are going to make sure that other drivers around you are safe, uh, especially if you have to head out there into this evening, because as I was saying, there are still roads that are not plowed. Make sure stick with us on News 3 this morning for more road conditions updates. But until then, reporting live in Madison, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. All right, Catherine, great job all day long. And Alex Harrington, he really hasn't done a thing today. He's been <laughs> no. really just not, not paying any attention to the weather out there. <laughs> no, no, Alex, you've done all. a great job. We started talking about this. What was this, New Year's Eve or something yep. like that? You and I were on the air, and you said, look on the horizon. Well, here we are. And uh, it ended up being just as heavy and the wet, heavy snow that you guys said it would be. Yeah, thanks, Eric. Yeah, 10 days ago, we started talking about this weather event. It was consistent. Our whole team has been pushing for 10 days to make sure that you were first to know about this weather event. And I'm, I'm really proud, the first Warren weather team. And we've been measuring the snow out here. We had nine inches of snow uh, officially here at the studio. And again, like you said, it verified uh, for sure across all of southern Wisconsin. And we can be first to show our fancy graphics as well here. Weather system that allows us to be out in the elements but then still do our entire show right out here from the patio which we've been doing all day here uh three things that you need to know there folks we're going to have another one to two inches of snow as we go into your wednesday night and thursday and then an impactful winter storm is on its way for thursday going through saturday and then bitterly cold temperatures alert day this is alert day number one here yet for overnight maybe another additional inch here we'll take a look and see where that snow is in just a bit impacts as we go on into your wednesday morning the driving as Catherine was just saying those secondary roads 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 that haven't had that opportunity to get as much clearage they're going to be slick as temperatures dip down into the 20s tonight and then there's that one to two inches that i was mentioning as we go wednesday night 
going on into your Thursday morning could be a bit of a slick commute. Doppler track showing that final band of snow sweeping off towards the south and towards the east. Let's say I-90 and points off towards the east. You can see that here in Dane County. Just a little bit of snow here at the studio. It's light. A lot of this is blowing off of the roof, though. So light snow here in Dane County. But our friends down towards Janesville, they had a batch of snow come through during my Facebook Live event at 7. I said, you get more snow, and you did, and about another inch or so. And as we take a look here across the rest of the area, again, this is all wrapping up as we speak right now. Just stop the radar for a second here. Areas along and east of I-90, that's where the snow is. If you have to travel at all tonight on I-94 towards Milwaukee, you'll still run into some snow. And that's where we see verifying here. Our visibility is still a mile and three quarters in Janesville. Otherwise, visibility is improving 10 miles out to the west. Had wind gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour there, folks. T uh, today, even 45 mile per hour wind gusts down towards Monroe. Winter storm warnings last through at least the wee hours of your Wednesday morning. This weather system will exit off towards the east as we go on, starting off with cloudy skies and those gusty winds. Then alert day number two. This is the next winter storm we're watching. Two to six inches of snow Thursday through Saturday with significant blowing and drifting possible. And then alert day conditions number three here, folks. Bitterly cold temperatures, as cold as 25 below zero. You see that as we go Sunday morning, Monday morning, Tuesday morning, and Wednesday morning. That's where we could have those dangerously cold temperatures out there. And we appreciate all the viewer photos sent to us, channel3000.com slash weather and via the First Warren Weather app. And coming up a little bit later at the end, we might actually have a moment or two to look at some of those live photos. And Jacob, heavy wet snow out there. What are the impacts of the heavy wet snow? I heard uh, we have some tree issues. Yeah, the snow has been so heavy that we actually had a tree fall down on a truck earlier. Here's the aftermath. Now, the one thing about this tree is that it's not very large, but certainly enough to cause some damage. Now, if I take a branch right here, if I shake it up a little bit, notice not much snow is falling off that tree. It is a really sticky, wet snow, and it's definitely very heavy. So don't be surprised if we see a few more down tree limbs or maybe some down power lines that may cause some more power outages throughout the night. I'm meteorologist Jacob Montesano with News 3 Now. And still to come in sports, we flash back to 2015. Was it a catch? The controversial play that still reverberates in the NFL today. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Save big money at Menards. Create the bathroom of your dreams with Sterling tubs and showers that fit your style and budget. Like the Sterling Ensemble Tub and Shower. Its durable high gloss finish provides lasting beauty. Now $6.99.99. Update the floors in your home with Great Lakes Vinyl Flooring. Heritage Vinyl Plank Flooring features an attached pad for comfort and is durable, waterproof, and easy to install. Heritage Vinyl Plank is $3.69 per square foot. Save big money at Menards. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus, designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. This is how it feels to do more with less asthma, thanks to Dupixent. Dupixent is not for sudden breathing problems. It's an add-on treatment for specific types of moderate to severe asthma and can help improve lung function for better breathing in as little as two weeks. Dupixent helps prevent asthma attacks and can even reduce or eliminate oral steroids. Imagine that. Dupixent can cause allergic reactions that can be severe. Get help right away if you have rash, chest pain, worsening shortness of breath, tingling, or numbness in your limbs. Tell your doctor about new or worsening joint aches and pain or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines, including steroids, without talking to your doctor. Who knows what you can do when you do more with less asthma? Ask your doctor about Dupixent, the most prescribed biologic for asthma. 
Whatever it is, you're ready for it. Your newly purchased defenses, top of the line. Your backup, backing up. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Bank's got you with access checking. It's maintenance fee free with no minimum balance requirements. So if your new house still has some old tenants, we'll make sure your checking account won't be giving you any surprises. You've got this with Associated Bank. The landscape of business was bleak. Toxic instructors, shady scammers, <laughs> and fistful fakes. I'm a shot. Mother Fitness was angry. Megan the Stallion. Hello, my hot girl. Enough of this toxic nastiness. <laughs> so she took her hotties to the judgment-free zone. Welcome to Planet Fitness, where everybody can work out in their own way. Listen to Mother Fitness. Join for 24 cents down, $10 a month. Cancel any time. Deal ends Friday, January 12th. Where are my legs? For the first time since the 1989-90 season, Wisconsin men's hockey has won nine straight games. That year, the Badgers went on to win the national championship. Right now in this present season, Mike Hastings squad is gearing up to close out their non-conference slate with just a few more wins. Wisconsin hosts a Lindenwood team that has struggled mightily. They enter the Kohl Center on a seven-game skid. And the message this week from Mike Hastings, finish this part of your schedule strong. Incredibly important. Uh, we've got to continue to get better. You know, other teams, if you look at it after Saturday night of this upcoming weekend, uh, that's when we don't get to control what's going on. This weekend we do. Our focus has to be on that and coming back home, defending home ice, and, and making sure that we're on point. Let's talk transfer portal. The Badgers have been busy. 18 now former Badgers have left in the portal, while 13 newcomers have transferred in. Right now, Wisconsin is the nation's 11th ranked class in the portal. And Luke Fickle, well, he loves those linebackers. He's gotten six of them out of the portal this year. And today he added the second ranked backer in the entire portal. That's a lot of portal talk. Tackett Curtis is his name. Curtis spent last season at USC, where he started eight games for the Trojans tallying 40 tackles and a pair of sacks. The former four-star linebacker will have three years of eligibility in Madison. And at a position where they really could use the help, they got it too with Albany's defensive lineman Elijah Hills committing to Wisconsin today. Hills had 31 tackles for Albany in 2023. That's more than any Badger D lineman last season. And speaking of Badger linebackers, former Wisconsin standout TJ Watt has been ruled out of Sunday's wild card game against the Bills. That comes with a knee injury. Watt led the NFL in sacks this season with 19. The Steelers, how about this, are 1-10 in games in which he does not play in his career. Expect Nick Herbig, another former Badger, to step up big in Watt's absence. And with the Packers and the Cowboys playing in the playoffs this week, we bring you back to 2015 to one of the most controversial plays in NFL playoff history. How about Des Bryant reeling in what maybe looked like a catch? If it was called a catch, it very well could have ended the Packers' season. Instead, it was called an incompletion, saying he didn't make a football move. Was it a catch? I'll let you decide. Cowboys fans, still not happy about that one, but I think I'm all right with it. We'll be right back. Come on, Michael, come on. Catch the ball! Huddle up! Do you need to get your eyes checked? Well, actually, here's the play. Stanton Optical makes glasses in 30 minutes. It's easy on three. One, two, three. Easy. easy. Now that's an easy play. Stanton Optical. Easy's our thing. Pick and Save always gives you more ways to save on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Pick and Save app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons. And earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. With a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Discover more ways to save big every day. It can save fresh for everyone. I'm, 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 hold on, I'm coming. You didn't tell me you were getting McDonald's. Buy a sausage biscuit, sausage McMuffin, or sausage McGriddles and get one for $1. 
It's a robotic money expert. Clever. How do I start a savings habit? Famous cabbage. Savings habit. Shaving rabbits. Tech can make life simpler, but when it comes to savings habits, nothing's as simple as BMO. A BMO savings account helps you build the habit with a cash reward every month you save. Cash reward? Ingenious. Sardine fest. This year's top prize goes to BMO. I'm just in it for the saving. But it's nice to be recognized. BMO. Choose FlexBuy at a new Ford F-150 and get 3.9% APR financing for 66 months, plus 1,500 FlexBuy cash. See your local Ford dealer. Salon Pos, makers of powerful pain relief patches for 89 years, believes in continuous improvement, like rounded corners that resist peeling, with an array of active ingredients and sizes to relieve your pain. Salon Pos, it's good medicine. He sent me to... Embrace the season of giving at the Century House. Donate $50 or more to charity and get $200 off any stressless recliner with power, any stressless recliner and ottoman, or any stressless home office chair. Or get $200 off each stressless sofa seat or $400 off all stressless Mayfair recliners and ottomans in all Paloma leather colors. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. Traveler calls it a wrap Thursday at 10. <laughs> no costume change. He doesn't even here. take his coat off to come inside. He's, He's going not... right back out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll go right back out, spend the night out there. We were going to show weather photos, but uh, weather information is more important. Another inch or two tomorrow night, don't forget about that. Two to six inches Friday going to Friday night and Saturday, and bitterly cold temperatures. We have alert day conditions for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then again Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for all of the bitter cold. We'll keep your photos coming. We'll get to them we'll eventually. Really mm -hmm. some beautiful shots out there as well. Thanks for joining us. Do something good, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.